Okay, Andrew, your box arrived, so we're gonna get you unpacked here and have a look at your watch. lovely of the Seikos probably in my mind ever produced. Wow. You don't see these very often. They are so nice. 6138-8000 Baby Panda 71. Lovely, lovely watch. Alright, let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look. Oh my goodness me. Well, they don't get much finer than that, I can tell you. Um, okay, so condition-wise, everything looks really great. Um, you have a little bit of a tooling mark here on your case back. So this is August 71. This is the white baby panda. Crystal looks good, a little hazy on the inside, I think, but we can clean that up. Not sure if you want a new crystal, but finding one is going to be a challenge. Um, I don't really have resources for one. I can look, but I'm not sure. Um, I think if we get the haze off the inside, we're gonna be in good shape, or at least in a lot better shape, in terms of, um, I, I just, you know, these are these are really, really rare. Uh, and to find a crystal for one is, is a challenge. But I will look to see in, in case you do want to change it. But I think, it's, I think it's really great the way it is, to be honest. I like these. These are nice and thick and tall, uh, but they're very compact in their, in their form. Um, let's see, we're currently not running. Let's turn it over here. Hands align pretty good. Got a little bit of out of alignment here on your hour hand. Nope, not running much. All right, let's put some power in. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's see. I usually don't try and fully wind a 6138, but, you know, it's not something you do every day, but you can certainly put some power in using the winding component of the winding pinion. Oh, these, these dials are so sweet. They're so different from the normal Panda, but they're, they have the same kind of styling, but yet uh, don't have the linening that runs vertically. It's a more of a radial linening, which is so cool. Nice sweep hand. Okay, I'm gonna just look for click over. You're sort of caught in the middle here. I don't know whether that's just been bumped or if that's actually the position uh, that it's currently in. Oh my gosh, I'm probably not recording anything. Okay, so you've stopped, which implies to me that something, something's amiss. Okay, your hands aren't aligned. Let's start it back around again. Jeez, I'm sorry everybody about the out of frame. I get so excited when I see a cool watch that I forget what I'm doing. It has been a part before. You can see that the um, the hour recording hand has gotten some deflection here from somebody prying it off, perhaps with the incorrect tool. Um, but that's okay. 
we'll, we'll check to see how it's going to turn over here. It does take a bit of time. A minute, in fact. Do, 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 do. The double, double ring here. 60 minute and attacky. Or 60 second and attacky. Nope. And it stopped even well before. Okay. Uh, some sort of internal strife. Um, so we're really not going to be able to check it on the time grapher unless perhaps it'll still keep running if I turn the chronograph off. So we'll see if that helps. We'll put it on the time grapher. I'm not anticipating anything too exciting um, simply because it seems to be in a weird state. Uh, yes. Woo wee. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what any of these numbers mean, <laughs> mostly because it's just snow. 253 is not the amplitude of this watch. Um, anything that's at minus 700 seconds per day um, is certainly not running at 253 as an amplitude. It just can't, it can't hone in on a proper, proper signal. So, you know, we, we're here for a reason, and the reason is to service the watch. There it goes. Look at that. Rate is gone. Doesn't even count a rate at this point. All right, so we've got some some internal some internal issues um, that we're going to take care of. Um, of course, you know these these pandas deserve deserve love. I mean, they're just so special. But uh, we're going to start on the process. And uh, hold on, we'll be right. Back. Okay, we're back. So yeah, we're going to get started. Um, I'm going to send you this video. Uh, we'll take a you know a really close look at, at everything. Um, and make sure that it's it's perfect for the return so um hopefully hopefully all of the all of these hang-ups here are not anything um more than perhaps uh you know, something I, I believe if it were me i believe it has something to do with the way the minute record or the i'm sorry the minute recording apparatus that is the um there's a uh a wheel that's in here that interacts with the uh, chronograph wheel uh, and there's a finger that needs to tip things over I think that's stuck uh, so I think if we fix this this will be okay it aligns perfectly that's that's what you want to see this is the most important thing right here everything else is fixable it's this hand and wheel combination that we're going to be the most worried about uh, and whenever we look at a 6138 um, or 6139 to be honest um, Everything else is mechanical and can be fixed. This is a device in, its, in and of itself, the chronograph wheel, and I, I can't replace them, or I can't repair them. They are something that's, uh, you know, sort of a consumable, and at this point, you don't want to consume one. Um, so, that being said, we're gonna get going, and uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, well, thank you, Andy. I'll be in touch, and uh, we'll uh, exchange a few emails, and go from there. Thanks so much.